Hi, I'm Wake Speed Jr., Certified Lubrication Specialist at Driven Racing Oil, and we're back today to talk a little bit more about LSPI, or Low Speed Pre-Ignition. LSPI is an abnormal combustion event that is unique to direct injection engines. The reason it occurs in direct injection engines is due to this issue of higher fuel dilution in direct injection engines because of the fuel not atomizing, not vaporizing. A big reason for the fact that the fuel won't atomize or vaporize as well in a direct injection engine at low engine speed is because of the shortened amount of time that the fuel has to vaporize. Think back to our carbureted or port injected engine and there's lots of time for the fuel to atomize and turn into a vapor between the time it leaves the carburetor and the time it reaches the combustion chamber. In fact, if you think about it in degrees of crankshaft rotation, it's over 320 degrees of time for the fuel to atomize. In a direct injection engine, you have less than 160 degrees. So you cut your time in half to atomize slash vaporize the fuel. Because of that higher fuel dilution, you have that fuel mixing with the oil, and that mixture of fuel and oil creates this weird third chemical that doesn't have as high an octane value as either the fuel or the oil. And as most people know, low octane value can mean detonation or knock, you know, abnormal combustion events. And this is what's occurring in these direct injection engines causing low speed pre-ignition. It's actually an abnormal combustion event that's caused by low octane values of this third chemical that's created by the mixing of the oil and the fuel. And again, this is all unique to the way direct injection engines atomize the fuel. So we've discussed how direct injection engines cause higher levels of fuel dilution. And that higher level of fuel dilution can lead to low speed pre-ignition because of how the oil and the fuel interact. Direct injection engines also create soot because the higher compression of a direct injection engine compared to normal port injected or carbureted engines creates soot just like a diesel. The soot created by direct injection engines can cause timing chain wear and other abrasive wear in the engines. So the whole point of this is to say that direct injection engines, while very powerful and have great fuel economy, have very specific needs that have to be addressed by the oil formulation. In the next video, we'll go in to how you formulate an oil specifically for direct injection engines to overcome these challenges to enable better performance and longevity of your direct injection engine. Thanks for watching.